Good afternoon everyone, Peter Overton here. The Reserve Bank is about to release its monthly decision on interest rates and we'll bring you that information immediately it comes into the newsroom. While we wait, let's talk to the Nine Networks finance editor, Ross Greenwood. Ross, we're not expecting rates to change, but there's a lot of movement behind the scenes. Can you explain that? It's really interesting. A, a year makes a big difference. So while interest rates have gone nowhere during this period of time, what you're seeing right now is a situation where while 12 months ago interest rates were going up, particularly for investors, right now they're going down. Now, today we've just got the decision that interest rates have been left on hold by the Reserve Bank, Peter. Now, that <laughs> not unexpected. In fact, they're likely to stay this way maybe until the end of this year. The US, of course, is pushing up interest rates. But do remember that even though the housing market is cooling right now, while they were pushing up interest rates last year, and it was the Reserve Bank at that time encouraging them, along with APRA, the bank regulator, to slow down the lending, especially to investors. Right now, the banks are starting to cut interest rates, especially to investors. And the reason for that, we know publicly that the slowdown in the housing market means less mortgages. If there's less mortgages, banks are making less money. That's why they're cutting interest rates. It's all about the shareholder, but would um, the banking regulator and the Reserve Bank be irritated at the moves by the, the big banks? No. In fact, uh, what they're saying is that low interest rates throughout our economy continue to support Australia's economy. We don't have terribly much economic growth here at the moment, but they say basically at the moment where they see interest rates, it's consistent with sustainable economic growth and therefore achieving the inflation target. This is what they're saying in the minutes today from these uh, uh, these reports just out. The other point also is that they see further progress in employment, which is good news for Australian families because, of course, if there's more work around the place, ultimately wages start to rise and affordability of those mortgages starts to improve as well. So that's the message coming out of the Reserve Bank today. I wonder when we'll be sitting here and talking about rates going north because we've sat here for a long time and they haven't budged. At the very earliest, I reckon, late this year, but more than likely, I think it's probably into 2019. Okay, good on you. Ross, thank you. Okay. Just repeating, the Reserve Bank has decided to leave rates on hold at the historic low of 1.5%. Our next bulletin is at 3 o'clock. The afternoon news is at 4. And then join me tonight and your state-based news is at 6 o'clock right across the country. We'll see you then. The Nine News app is here. When news happens near you, we'll alert you. The free 9 News app goes straight to the source you trust.